My person is James Smith. He was born in Dublin, Ireland on September 17, 1719. He died on July 11, 1806. He was a lawyer. He married Eleanor Armour. They had five children and he represented Pennsylvania. What is the Declaration of Independence? The Declaration of Independence is the statement adopted by the continent Continental Congress meeting at Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on July 4th, 1776. What the Declaration of Independence is part two. The Declaration of Independence served the po political connections between the 13 original American colonies and Great Britain. They declared themselves an independent nation. The American colonists were able to forge an official alliance with the government of France and obtained French assistance in the war against Great Britain. It justified the independence by listing the grievances against the King George III and stating natural and legal rights the colonists felt they deserved. Why James Smith became involved? The he became concerned about the growing rift between the colonists and Great Britain. He attended a provincial assembly in 1774, and at the time he presented a paper he had written titled Essay of the Constitutional Power of Great Britain over the Colonies in America. He recommended the colonies boycott and British goods. He thought this would hurt the British merchants and force Parliament to back away from oppressive laws. He organized a volunteer group of militia in which he became captain. James Smith's involvement. Congress with James Smith is a part of, of spent two days discussing the details in the language of the Declaration of Independence before they agreed on the final wording. He, he is elected a delegate to the state convection in Philadelphia in January 1775. He felt that if the British should force the colonists, colonies into submission, it is the colonists' duty to resist such force and every other hazard to defend the rights and liberties of America. He understood the concept of the price of freedom and was willing to urge others to share this view. He made a name for himself as a supporter for the cause of American freedom. James Smith's involvement, he accompanied Captain Francis Wade and Dr. Young to York on January 6, 1776 with a printed copy of the Declaration of Independence to read to the colonies in the town square. He continued to serve on the Congress because he truly believed in the cause that he, that the colonies, colonists needed to break free from Great Britain because of the unfair treatment. He was elected Brigadier General of the State Militia in 1781. What might have happened to them if they signed the Declaration of Independence? Five signers were captured by the British as traitors and tortured before they died. Twelve had their homes ransacked and burned. Two lost their sons serving in the army. Another two had sons captured. Nine of the 56 fought and died from wounds and hardships in the Revolutionary War. They signed and pleaded their lives, their fortu fortunes, and their sacred honor. Pen penalty would be death if captured. James Smith is remembered as he is considered one of the founding fathers of the United States of America because of his role in the independence from Britain. 
a leader. He was a leader in the revolution against Britain, a delegate from Pennsylvania. He believes in fighting for the cause, even if it costs you your life and your fortune. Does anybody have any questions for Chauncey about James Smith? Why do you think they'll like risk their lives for the Um, they wanted to go to war for their country. Um, so it could be their country, pretty much. Yeah. Is he still alive today? No. When did he die? Um, July 4th, 1806. On what? What do you mean on what? Like, what did he die on? What have you done? Did you die of old age or do you have an illness? Oh, yeah, he died of old age. Okay. You said that um, James Smith is from Pennsylvania. Did you find any evidence of some things that they do in Pennsylvania to kind of remember James Smith? Is there anything that would, would students in Pennsylvania know him a little bit better than we do here in Ohio? Um, yeah. Um, you talked about, you said that James Smith understood the price of freedom, and you showed us a list of some of the consequences that happened to some of the signers. Did, was there any evidence that you found that some, anything that happened to James Smith that was not so great as a result of signing the Declaration? Did anything affect him or his family during the war or after the war? Um... I didn't really find anything about that. Do you think that students should remember him um, just as much as as other um, signers that went on like, to become president, like George Washington and Thomas Jefferson or John Adams? Why do you think he's just as important? Um, I think he's just as important as because he really cared about his country and. Um, he was one of the founding fathers, which people really pay attention to that in history, but um, that, that's about it. You said that he was um, originally born somewhere else, right? Yeah, in Dublin, Ireland. Okay. So how do you think that affected his way of thinking of himself as an American? Because um, we were all born here, but he's born somewhere else. Right? Yeah. He's creating a new country from another country. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Other questions for Chauncey about James Smith? Since he was born in Ireland, when did he decide to come to the States? That I did not find. Well, let's give uh, Chauncey a round of applause. Thank <laughs> you.